Ja, hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Planscape Torment. Äh, wir sind hier noch in dieser heim heimigen äh, Crypt of Dismemberment. Ich habe nach dem letzten Video hier mal ein bisschen frustriert in der Gegend rumgeklickt und tatsächlich ist hier jemand, mit dem wir reden können. Hier nämlich. Das Teil da. Unterscheidet sich nicht wirklich was von den anderen, aber mit dem da können wir reden. Das ist nämlich Loden. Ähm, der Kumpel von Goetz. This body has been horribly mangled. It looks like it's been burned, stabbed, sliced, bludgeoned and forced to a grate. It's in two halves, lying in a crusted pool of old blood. The voice that emerges from it, though, is practically jovial. Uh, and there's a tinting of a maddened glee to it. Hi, Burke. What you wanting? Uh, the answers to some questions. Du siehst echt nicht gut aus. Das sieht überhaupt nicht gut aus, dieses Bild hier. Das ist... Um, Map I'll tell. Map I want. Ask you questions. Uh, who are you? Loden, eh? Me and Bert and sometimes Chris, though he were nothing but a bossy piker and he was with us this last time. We was kings of the catacombs. Don't know where Bert is. Probably dead. Moment, ist Bert nicht... Um, ist das nicht die Guard? Der, 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 uh, uh, da an dem, an dem, an dem, an dem Tor. Uh, what happened to Gus? Eh, story of its own. Mostly my idea it was, and it came off all right at first. Bert didn't have no clue what I was doing. Did some looking around, found out where Gould made his home, its home, and thought we'd take off Gris, old Gris down there. Verstehe. Wir kommen, ah, wir kommen mit einem kleinen Kriminalfall auf die Spur, wa? Turns out that Gould made more Goulds, and they nearly had us. Shoved Gris inside and took off like the lady herself was after us. Betting Gris is dead. He is. <laughs> I'd say it's a pity, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Man had the heart of a worm and the soul of a serpent, and there's a reason we called him the Vulture. Figure if I'm dead, I'm just as happy he is too. Figure if I'm dead, I'm just as happy he is too. Okay. Uh, how did you die? Made a wrong turn when I when we was running away from where we dumped Gris, bolted in here, and before I realized my mistake, got diced up and sliced up twenty ways to peak. Got my pieces shoved down the grate, and now, hey, now not even the Dusties pay for this lot. He lets out a wet chuckle that smells like swamp gas. Das finde ich aber lustig, dass du dir in einem völlig zerhacktstückten Zustand noch deinen Humor behalten hast, äh, bewahrt hast. Das <laughs> ist wirklich ist mal was anderes. Um, Ah, irony. I had some uh, questions. Um, tell me about the catacombs. Weeping stone is what we call them on account of the water of the ceiling and the crying faces on the walls. Plenty of cubs down here, and plenty more we've plundered. Most the pity that most the pity that we fell a fool of them, but it was bound to happen. I knew this place like the back of my head. Hand, but it's all going dark on me now. Mm. Stehe. Tell me about yourself again. Uh, what happened to you? Das hast du mir schuld. Ja, okay. Okay. Das war der da. Mhm. Na gut, dann gehen wir jetzt mal, mal gucken, was Gris dazu zu sagen hat. Einfach nur für Spaß. Ja, oh Gott. Obwohl, da können wir ja auch Morte einfach rausschicken, oder? Oh, jetzt gehen wir alle. Oh. Na gut. Ja, dann... Oh, wir sind schneller als die Falle. Das ist super. Dann können wir uns jetzt in aller Ruhe... Dann. Hallo, hier sind wir. Bleibt doch mal hier. Wir wollen euch totschlagen. Was ist denn los mit euch? Darkon, wieso rennst du... Das ist richtig. Äh... Ach, das ist der... Did you find it? Gave you clear directions, I did. And now you're gallivanting about while I lie here watching. Ja, ja. Ach, das ist aber Quinn's Charm, den haben wir ja schon gefunden. Uh, it's on the left side of my... Das hattest du uns aber nicht gesagt, oder? Uh, 
den haben wir eh schon gefunden. Ähm, äh, äh, das hast du uns auch schon gesagt. Ähm, what happened to you anyway? So, jetzt können wir jetzt können wir Where's Bird loaden, jetzt können wir die Wahrheit sagen. Ähm. Mhm, mehr nicht? Mhm. Können wir deine Freunde nicht noch verpetzen? Na nee, gut, okay, dann eben nicht. Ja, war ein Versuch wert. I'm gone. Schade, schade, schade. I'm gone. Es ist ja nicht so, dass es hier irgendwelche offiziellen Stellen gäbe, die sich dafür interessieren würden. So, jetzt gehen wir einfach wieder zurück. Hm. Ach nee, Bar, nicht Bird. Mhm. Ja, hab ich, ja. So. I'm gone. Schön. So, aber ich denke mal rechts von da vermutlich werden wir das schon gefunden haben Alright. oh okay wenn es das war aber nicht viel drin in deinem stash I'm gone All right. Hm. I'm gone. Dum -di -dum -di -dum. Nee. Okay. Dann. So, aber ich habe jetzt immer noch nicht U hier gefunden. Da ist U hier, Mensch. Äh, uh, U ist you. Find me knife, perchance? Yes. Who attacks the knife and holds it lovingly? Ah, you're back, my lucky knife. Thanks, Cutter. Uh, and you? He lectures his knife, shaking it. Don't you go running off again. Oh, God, die sind hier... <laughs> die sind irgendwie alle verrückt. He slides the blade into the, its sheath with a smile. Updated Farewell. my journal. Uh, was hat das Journal dazu zu sagen? Perhaps it'll work a bit better for him in the future. Though it did keep him from getting eaten by a ghoul. Ja, das stimmt. Ach, stimmt, das hat er ja, ja, ja in den Ghoul reingesteckt. Okay. So, Ferret. All right. Mm. All right. Ah, cops. Ferret turns as you approach, his crutch clacking on the cobbles of the court. He licks his lips and smiles expectantly. Have you brought me what I asked for? The wrong sphere? Uh, ja. Ist ja die Frage, wollen wir ihm das erst geben, oder? Ja, warum nicht? Ferret's eyes gleam as you hand him the Bronx Sphere. He touches it gingerly, almost reverently. You, he chuckles. Ah, Corp, such a gamble you were, and paid off handsomely you have. Ferret studies his reflection in the sphere and tsks. The years have been cruel to me, I see. I did what you asked, Ferret. Now I want some answers. Ferret doesn't even look at you as you speak. His attention is swallowed by the sphere he holds. Yes, yes, ask your questions. Ferret turns the sphere in his hands. Very important, your questions. What do you know about me? Why was I told to seek you out? Ja, that's a good question. Ferret studies you with a critical eye. Stay your weapons for what I'm about to say, corpse. For it could be our ears take offense. Ferret smiles wickedly. My ears no longer care, but yours are still fresh for the burning, it seems. Mm. Tell me, Ferret, I'm losing patience. Wow, you have my word that I'll stay in my hand. Okay, machen wir. The truth. Ferriton softens as if cajoling. The truth was stretched out a bit from my mind to my tongue when we first spoke, Corpse. 
In all terribly honesty, I know little about you. He raises a withered finger. Yet, hear me out. Yes? You are a cutter who plays at being dead, as I see. Some time ago you came to me, like you are now, but not just strolled right into Ilwyn Kurt caught and said you wanted an audience with me. An audience with you? Aye, an audience. Fair chuckles like whispering sand, like I was royalty. He seems amused, but there's an edge in his voice. You knew, you knew the right things to say, you did. Oh yes, you spoke the chant like a governor, born and true, and I listened. Listened. What did he, uh, I, want from you? Kurt gives a mock bow, a bow, his crotch creaking as he leans against it. Oh, Farrod, great collector king, he says. I have come before you to request a boon. The boon, I says? What could I offer a man of such obvious strength? Go on. Farrod wags his crooked finger. Yet you ask me for a strange thing, you says, Lord Ferret. I ask for courtesy. Your collectors roam throughout the hive. If they should find my body, I want it kept safe. That is all I ask. A simple boon. Mm -hmm. I see, and is that all you know? Before you can speak, you suddenly feel a prickling in your skull as Ferret speaks the word boon. The smell of blood and fear rushes through your nostrils. Ferret is hiding something, something that happened in the past involving you, and it scares him. The boon he granted you was no simple matter. So you granted my boon just like that. There's nothing to be gained from it for you. Why did you even agree to do it? Ferret falls silent for a moment. A dead man can keep no promises, and promises to a dead man are easy enough to make, corpse. You're a merchant ferret, not a Samaritan. There must have been another reason. Aye. Ferret face suddenly peels back in fury, his skin flushing red. After you'd strung up a score of my blood on the hive walls to die, I had enough reason to promise you the planes themselves. Um... Then your butchering self <coughs> Show you? Then your butchering self comes to my home, my kip, to demand a boon of me. Ferret calms, him calms himself, though his face is still flushed. Aye, I agreed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry about your people, Ferret. That wasn't me. Yeah, <laughs> technisch gesehen. But if I can make up the loss to you, I will. No matter, them bodies served me well enough. The Dusties pay the same for fresh deaders as for old. What was the only reason you agreed to my request? You knew things about me, things only I knew. You knew, you knew I was greedy for something beneath Sigil. And you put a name and picture to it. The wrong sphere, you said. I didn't think you would fetch it for me. He chuckled. Yet yeah, did you? Aye. The planes turn in strange ways. Oh, man. Ich wusste die ganze Zeit davon. Uh -huh. And that's all you know? All I know? Nay. But it's all I know about you, corpse. Uh, fine. Next question. What did you take of my body after I died? I? Ferret licks his lips. Why? I took nothing, corpse. His face splits in a grin. Then I wasn't the one that found your body. Who did? Ferret's smile widens, pulling the pasty folds of flesh back from his face like a curtain. My daughter, the rose of my eye, the sweetest of my family, and the sharpest bit of them all. He licks his dry lips in sighs and mock sadness. Such a cool tongue on her. Uh, wir können uns schon, uh, wir können uns vielleicht schon denken, wer das ist. Updated my journal. Your daughter? Who? My darling girl, Anna. She found you, dead as dead I can be, in a place where most collectors wouldn't go for a mountain of coppers. Could be she plucked something of you, could be not. He leans in, shaking his head. You'll have to ask her, for it's not her da dad's place to say. 
Don't lie to me, Ferret. You're a merchant and you always take a cut from your workers. What did Anna give you for my body? Ah, yes, my tribute. Mm. There's no telling what was from you or not, corpse. Most like there was nothing. Ferret, my patience is as an at an end. There will be nothing left of you or this village if you don't hand over the tribute. Ooh, working schon hard. Ferret, my patience, if you don't hand over what was done for me, I will see to it. Dustman will know to find you. Ferret is silent for a moment. Uh, this drone is better than we all abschlachten. Außer haben wir schon geschworen, dass wir ihn nicht anrühren. Ferret is silent for a moment. She taps his fingers against his crutch slowly. Well? Where has the decency of man gone? Ferret grumbled, shaking his head. A courtesy I'm doing for you, corpse. Such a courtesy. If I were parting with anything, I'd be in the dead book for me if anyone heard. Wait here. Move not a yard. I shall return. Eine Sekunde mal kurz. Ja, jetzt habe ich wieder kurz was zu trinken geholt. Um, move not a yard. I shall return. When Updated the race my going. journal. After a long while, Ferret returns, his crutch clacking against the flagstones. In his hands, he holds a number of items, which he passes off to you. You will be silent on this and accept the blessing that I even remembered. A few hundred coppers, a scrap of paper, bandages and a ring. Very well. Now, who was it who found me again? I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. Mm-hmm. My darling girl, Anna, she found you. That is that... Yeah, that's what we Anna, all right. Anna, all right, I ask her. Where is she? Where is Anna? That's wissen wir doch, wo sie ist, Mensch, name this one. Obwohl, nee, der letztes Mal war sie ja weg, ne? Kann das sein? Ich glaube. Egal. Um, where, uh, where's Anna Fenner, uh, Ferret Shrugs? She's hiding in the shadows here, as, as expect. Ach, guck an! Listening to our straight chant. I called for her after you went below. Had to ask her if you were really in the dead book when she found you or not. He chuckles dryly, then takes a deep breath and calls out to the darkness. Anna, stop mithering in these shadows and come greet our guest. She's here. In knowing the teachings of Zerthamon, I have become stronger. Auftritt, Anna. Ach ja. Oh, what no? <laughs> uh, yeah. You turned to see a striking edge hair dress, dressed in leather armor. You didn't even hear her enter the chamber. Her right arm is covered with a series of interlocking plates that look as if they were taken from the skin of some creature. And a horn shoulder piece protects her left arm. Oddly enough, she has a tail. Das haben wir da alle schon gelesen. That is flicking back and forth as you watch. Ja, Anna. Wie gesagt, eigentlich wissen wir es schon, aber naja. Nee. I met you in the hive, outside the mortuary, correct? Wir haben uns also schon mal gesehen. Natsch, natsch. Uh, kennen wir uns nicht? <laughs> ah, herrlich, was sich hier anbahnt. The girl ignores you and turns to Ferret. What's this about then? Ich kann leider diesen Akzent nicht nachmachen. Leider nicht. I'm not playing the leash pull with the scarred dog, so I'm not. Get one of your other gullies to do it. Anna, rose of my eye, have I not taught you to respect the dead? A thin smile worms across Ferret's face and he makes a slight bow towards you. This resourceful corpse needs to know where you found him. Eh? What are you on about? She squints at you. He's not a deader. Ah, yes, my mistake. Ferret nods, then his voice drops dangerously. Yet, my darling Anna, that still makes it your mistake. For this one only had one foot in the dead book when you brought him to me. He taps his crutch against the flagstones with a light tap. He woke up, sought me out. Most embarrassing. Ah, uh, in that heart. So? Anna glances at you, then shrugs. He shouldn't be playing dead on the hive while I'm about, or he'll wake up in the dusty's arms, he will. Maybe you could have checked to see if I was alive before dumping me off there. Oh, aye, and maybe you should have been more careful and maybe you wouldn't have been lying face down in stone still on the alley cobbles like a deader, aye? 
Ah, Gott, Anna. Das ist einfach so. Zuckersüß. Ähm. Maybe I should show you a filthy corpse pirate hide what it's like to be lying near dead in an alleyway. Ne, also komm. Uh, enough of this. Where did you find my body? Show him where you found his body, Anna. Ferret taps his crutch against for emphasis. Take him to the haunted alley. Ferret studies Anna for a moment, then grins and turns to you. If you happen to lose me, darling Anna, on the way to the alley corpse, you come back and see Ferret. I'll guide you. Updated my journal. Ich werde auch Anna nicht verlieren. Nicht bis ins Grab. Anna sneers at you, then throws a glance at uh, at, at Ferret, then throws a glance at you. Come on then, and keep your steps quick, ye Jig. I have little time to waste on the likes of ye. Um. Very well, let's head there now. Oh, this ging ja schnell. Anna points at the door in front of you. Through there where we want to be. Alright, let's head on in. <laughs> what you first took to be dawn, this archway is actually painting. The artist has made use of the shadows, the overhanging arch and some subtle texturing effects to give the door the illusion of substance. Are you sure this is the door, Anna? Aye, it's been smeared with balmy paint from the starved dog that has. It's a real door until you look at it. Then it turns into a painting. Whoa! How did they do that? There are stranger things in the plains. You might as well ask how you got yourself out of the dead book after I was sure you were dead. Uh, so this door, I just don't look at it and then open it. And I glances at the door, then nods. That's the dark of it, if chant be true. Alright then, I do what you say. You just... Hold on! And I stops you before you reach for the door. This is the only path I know to reach the place I found your corpse. But it's not the safest road, I. You sure you're ready? I'm not here to play a minder, no matter what old slutter crutch says. What's beyond this door that's so dangerous? Chaos men. Balmy as they come, barking wild into the day and night, ready to either paint you with colors or crack your brain box with a chamber pot. Dangerous bloods they are. If they are so dangerous, then how did you get through? I crept in nice and quiet like. Can't paint you or kill you when you can't see you. Uh, she looks you up and down with a frown. Doubt I can pull that twice with you around. You look quite clumsy, you do. Uh, hmm. Let's get re-equipped and come back later then. This is probably the worst place it we can hurt you to say a few words to me, feeling. Yeah? Oh, I it could hurt you that is. <laughs> uh, habt ihr schon angefangen, ich gern zu haben? Das ist sehr schön. Irgendwie. Du sollst doch irgendwas an mir gefunden Hi. haben. What is it you want then? So was the plan. Did you did you find anything on my body before you brought it to the mortuary? Anna looks at you warily, and her tail stops flicking for a moment, then resumes slower than before. I may have found something, but if I found anything, it's mine by right. It is. The other bits are in Ferret's keeping. And I don't, and I don't have the time for games. What did you find on my corpse? Well, you had some fist irons, you did, and a little bit of jink, but I left that for the dusties, so they think I was a wee bit honest. You had, a ugly, you, you had an ugly ring that I kept. She dips her finger into her arm braces and pulls forth a small ring with a stone mounted on it. Worth twice more than the jink on the irons, it was. She studies the ring and squints. Too bad it's too ugly to wear. I'd like that ring back. Now. I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. Ach so, und die Anna. Scheiße, bei Ferret liegen ja auch noch Sachen rum. Um, she studies the ring with a frown, glances at you, then back at the ring. With a sneer, she flicks the ring to you. Uh, 
Fine, now when you mentioned that some stuff from my body had gone into Ferret's keeping, what did you mean? Aye, Ferret takes a bit of each corpse we find, he does. It's his right, being lord of the village and all. Of, of every corpse you all find, that's a lot of corpses. Oh aye. Do you tell all that a crutch has got a stash pit somewhere close to him? It's the only reason I can see why he's set up keep in that filthy drafty hall it is. Nothing but stinking shadows. Really? And what's and that's where he puts the tribute he gets. Aye. Now what are you on about? You planning to bob him? Mm, after all that running around to get that sphere for him and then getting next to nothing in return, I'm tempted to. I'm warning you against such a thing I am. Ferret can be daft sometimes. But he's mean as all fiend spits when he gets worked up. And he loves his keepsakes, he does. But where would he keep it all? If he's been at the village for as long as he has, he would have amassed quite a collection. Well, I know he's never left his hall to get his tribute when he needed it. He wouldn't want to walk far with that lame leg of his, though. That's true. But if, but only if you don't watch him careful. He isn't lame, though he puts on a fair show about being weak in the leg. So that crutch of his could be a portal key. Anna frowns and thought of a moment, then slowly nods head. Aye, there's a thought. She shrugs. I wouldn't know how you'd use it, though. Maybe you just need to have it. Uh, we may look into it later. Let's move on. So, jetzt machen wir hier erstmal uh, Punch Daggers. Hallo Anna. Okay. Jetzt können wir erstmal eine ganze Menge Sachen rüber schicken. Nein, das nicht. So. Plus 1 to Armor Class. Oh, warum nicht? Was? Wrong Item Type? Äh, ach, da sind die Ringe, verstehe. Oh, willst du nicht vielleicht doch an ansetzen? Ah, guck mal, so hässlich ist er dann doch nicht, ne? Ähm... Ja, okay, dann gehen wir jetzt noch mal kurz zurück zu, ähm, zu Ferret und die ganzen Sachen aufsammeln, die da hoffentlich noch liegen. Und danach können wir dann ja noch ähm, mit unserem Kollegen von den Dustmen mal reden. Emmerich oder wie er hieß. If you keep bobbing about Skull, I'm gonna mount you on the end of a pike. <lacht> Uh, ja, also die, gerade die Konversation oder die Sprüche zwischen Anna und ähm, Mord sind wirklich herzallerliebst. So, und wir haben jetzt auch ähm, endlich mehr als nur drei Leute in der Party. Sind zwar immer nicht richtig viele, aber immerhin sind wir jetzt mal vier. So. Dumm, die dumm, die dumm, den ganzen Weg zurück. Alright. Du bist definitiv schneller als wir, aber gut, du kennst dich hier ja auch aus, Mädchen. So. Rein hier und durch I'm hier gone. und rein hier. Und ab zu Ferret. Und wir die Sachen sind weg. Ähm. Achso, wir sind ja erst in die Trash für uns. Dann. Ja. Wir müssen ja noch den Glockenturm runterklettern. Das ist so irre. Bitte lassen Sie uns durch. Dankeschön. Du, 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 du. Ja. 
So, hier haben wir mit ihm gesprochen. Ah gut, da liegt noch alles. Sehr gut. Das ist mein Video. Ja, ja. Okay. Ach so, ein paar... Ah, ein paar Sachen haben wir gekriegt. Ragged Note from Ferret. This is the tattered note you received from Ferret. It reads as follows. Beware shadows. Beware places where the night lives. They wait. There's no natural darkness. Only shadows. Aha. Interessant. Simple Silver Ring. Plus 3, Safe versus Poison. Na gut, Anna, da hast du was zum Anziehen. Gefällt dir der Ring besser? So. So. Nochmal Punch Daggers. Ups. was wir Anna geben können. Aha, Enchanted Punch Daggers. Das klingt doch ganz gut. Mm, Enchanted Punch Daggers plus 1 Piercing. Und Punch Daggers auf Muin. Oh, die sind ja richtig gut. Okay. Super, dann gucken wir uns mal deine Statistiken an. Äh, ach, Charisma 13. Äh, nur wegen des Akzents wahrscheinlich. Ja, nur wegen, naja, gut, ein bisschen loses Mundwerk. So, die 18, Stufe 4. Fighter Thief. Okay. Und vorhin ist irgendwer aufgestiegen. Wer ist denn aufgestiegen? Darkon ist aufgestiegen. Sehr gut. Sonst noch wer? Nee. Okay. Ja, dann würde ich sagen... Ja. Wo ist dein Chef halt da? Ähm, war es das mal wieder für ein Video? Und jetzt gehen wir dann mal äh, zurück nach Siegel und ähm, erledigen die Dustman-Geschichte. Das können wir jetzt ja. Und dann verkaufen wir noch den ganzen Kram und ja, gucken wir mal, wie wir dann weiter vorgehen. Ja, dann würde ich sagen, ähm, sehen wir uns äh, beim nächsten Mal mit mehr Planescape und mit einer größeren Party. Ja, okay, dann bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.